Shalom guys. I hope that you are doing well today. Thanks for joining for a daily reading. Welcome back if you're returning back. If you are upright in your heart, I appreciate you. I thank you for being that way in the earth. If you're not that way in the earth and you can change, I encourage you to look in the mirror and make a thing right and be free from being a profane way. Everybody's falling down sometime in their life. It's just time to get up and make a thing right. If you don't want to do that, please leave my channel, okay? I don't put up with people who are nasty, and uh, I'm on a mission to take them out of the earth, literally, okay? People want to act profane. Uh, you are the profane. You are none of the great Elohim uh, that, uh, you know, is wanting righteousness in the earth. It's time for people to leave the earth then, if that's the way it must be. Uh, we want uprightness. And so I do a spiritual work on this channel, so I read a lot differently than a lot of people. If you stick around, you'll learn me as we go. Roll your sleeves back. Let's do a spiritual work to get rid of the devils. Okay? Anyway, happy birthday, happy anniversary, and all of that. Let's go ahead and get started. Sweet Yehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth, our Yeshua, our salvation. I just thank you so very much. Jehovah rebuke, bind, and block every foul, wicked, dark thing and shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs. What do you want to bring out here? We have the two of pentacles. This two of pentacles shows somebody who has um, a mask on their face. And some people are dealing with people like that. Um, there's ladders that are showing in that picture as well, going up and down the ladder. Um, you could work with construction. And this is about getting your balance um, this about going back and forth this could be a secret exchange the knight of pentacles is also here another pentacle so there was some type of collaborating energy uh, where somebody secretly did physically exchange something and they made a decision to do something uh, for some of you all something solid is here with the knight of pentacles uh, the Knight of Pentacles is about going slow, checking details, being very methodical with stuff. Um, it does show the bear, though, in the picture. And, you know, that could be business with the bear. Your parents uh, could be an overbearing person. It could also represent Russia as well. Something very physical is here with this energy coming out. But uh, the Knight of Pentacles is about being loyal to something you know somebody wasn't and they did have a mask on around some matter then somebody could be dealing with a jealous party with the bear as well because it can also take us back to jealousy as well what is this decision out here about it's a it's a physical decision about something to get up and do something physically within some type of an exchange or somebody's physically trying to get their balance because of that or something like that uh, show me this two of pentacles. Remember yesterday we did have somebody trying to do something here. But somebody is faithful and they are, um, for some reason they got their poker face on. Okay, and you are dealing with a party that's overbearing. And you're doing something in all uprightness to make a decision around that type of energy. Then, And you're going to be faithful within something to, you know, cause something to go out of the way that is kookish with somebody acting overbearing and stuff like that and so I could read it that way as well show me because some people have third parties out here I keep seeing a card flipped over in the deck but when I go fan through it I can't find there it is uh, so there's a decision out here it's the two of wands there's a there's a gate here that's opening Okay, with the decision, I guess it can open or close. Um, somebody being at a crossroad going back and forth about a decision to move forward, okay, and to go slow within something, and so be it. What are these decisions here for, please? Thank you. Uh, around the world card, around something about um, ending something in, in an upright way by wisdom the world card is the letter shin in the hebraic language which represents wisdom chewing on information again going slow um figuring something out here maybe somebody's just been going slow and that mask is also representing just somebody secretly just within themselves um moving slow within making a decision around ending something 
um, in a very positive way. The world card is a very positive card to get. This is also travel as well. Something's taking place with travel energies and then so be it. What else do you want to bring out here? So this decision is around the world card. Some th something's rewarding when we get the world card. Something's fixed with the world card because all four of the fixed signs uh, appears in the card the full so something's a complete success here this this word the full with the world card one direction in the hebraic language represents a a, a success because that's a great big um cycle the fool is the very first card of the deck and the world card is the end of the cycle okay and so the decision about jumping off and having a clean slate and uh, starting something fresh and something new because something has been successful, I guess, depending on the decision being made, going slow, being steady within something fresh and new. It's, it's For some people, that's already been over and we're already here. Um, this word, the other direction, is your bottom. Okay, so don't be a fool in something... Uh, that needs to be, you know, decided about. I could read it that way. Something would be known here with the full. This full card shows a um, king, okay? And there's a little small picture here of the full in the picture. Tra -la, 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 la is what I always say. But this king is watching a fool. And uh, if somebody is undercover to catch a freaking fool, okay, or the fool's at the crossroad because something's ended within some matter, something would be known about something foolish. Then this is the letter Tav. It means to sign something, uh, anything. Could be a covenant, a contract of anything, or just signing something. If, something's, if somebody secretly signed something that they shouldn't have. Um, then somebody's being watched. Somebody is being watched. That king is watching the fool. Okay, and so if we got undercover agent or something like that, then so be it. The um, the the emperor appears at the bottom of the deck, which is staying true with those readings that I did yesterday. In the next twenty four hours, when I read yesterday, which he would appear here, there was a boss figure here. Um, somebody was coming. So the fool also returns. As the scripture says, the fool can't get out of folly like the dog returns to vomit. And that energy, some player was heading right towards this emperor. So this person is masked and has got a mask on and they are returning towards this emperor. Somebody was saying, go. Uh, they were departing. Okay. The queen of pentacles is there. The page of cups is there as well as the defeat underneath that page so if that was slippery communication or it's fixing to be slippery communication we get in a complete success with something ending somebody would know something here okay if, if you know the king uh, the uh, emperor and the queen of pentacles they would belong together right that's the lower version of the empress if that's upright energy uh, and there's some type of an apology and there's just been a conflict and there's a complete success to make a decision to end something. Again, for those of you who are dealing with the fool and um, this is really bad stubborn energy with the emperor and the queen of pentacles in the negative. I'm seeing a fox in the picture with this uh, 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 queen of coins, the queen of pentacles. If she is in the negative and there is stubbornness here and some stupid war around something, somebody could have hidden intentions. It's showing here with this two of pentacles with that person that has a mask on. Interesting that last night I also read and in a totally different deck, the queen of swords came out. She had a mask in her hand. Somebody getting their mask ripped off of them today. Um, some type, so the, if the page of cups is fishy communication somebody's going to know that and somebody else going to get some kind of complete success within some cycle that's going on here all right there's a defeat here there is the ten of cups is also here i also bring out with this ten of cups it shows a couple of people real cozy on the couch you know enjoying each other 
But what I don't like about this Ten of Cups in this deck that I'm using is, is there's a rat that sets right next to the Ace of Cups. Okay. And a, a my, mice and rats, they represent um, in Lenormand thievery lies, okay, problems, anxiety, things like that. The Ten of Cups is about emotional fulfillment, okay, but if there's a lie around that Ace of Cups with that rat there, there's a big fat cat that's also here in the cat card, and one of my decks represents a manipulation, it's, and we do, we have a fool, we have a known fool out here. If somebody was loyal, somebody else has got hidden tensions around something. Somebody does have a mask on today, okay? And something's going to be known about that. It could be very much emotional. Whatever the decision is going to be, it's, it's for some people, it's very much emotional. If you don't choose correctly and do the right thing in all integrity with that world card. Let's take some words real quick. <clears throat> see what comes out here. You know, well, what kind of words do you want to bring out here, please? What kind of words do you want to bring out here, please? Thank you for upright people doing successful things. And you are the king of kings watching. And uh, your, your eyes are on those foolish people uh, trying to return to vomit. To kick them out of the earth and vomit them out of the earth. Oh, hold on. Vomit them out of the earth. Jehovah says stop hating. That's right. And there's school energies or, or learning something today. And yes, their little people game is over. So somebody, if, if somebody is trying to come back around and play some stupid game, it's over. It's showing. And it's going to be successful for those of you, those of you who ain't going to get up in here with uh, the full okay you are loved is here social media energy is here and being displeased and heavy breathing out of anger is here this appeared with the emperor yesterday okay there's hatred out here that's why somebody has hidden intentions with that fox showing there so the world card has a meaning of an all-consuming fire as well at the bottom of the deck we have um burn brand charred burning of the skin darkening energy is that here so there is some type of a um fire energy then so be it i have a couple cards that flipped over in the deck so there's a bus here something around travel is here the world card is a travel card what's at the top of the deck somebody's wishing somebody would approach them to talk okay whatever that is some people need to just be careful because somebody's you know, for some cases, there's a fool out here. Give us some more words, you hold on. There's been a war with this emperor energy. And um, some people, they can't get out of their hatred. We do. Some people are fallen. They're fallen. There's an unpredictable factor, the first card says. Okay, that's the fool. Somebody the other day had to be watched because they are unpredictable okay because they're a fool this person could be very dangerous okay if, the, if somebody's got hidden intention there's hatred out here hatred goes to murder okay uh, we have a school bus out here we have the word school and a bus your children are out here folks as well and so we have mother father stuff out here with the emperor and the queen of uh, pentacles and underneath that that page was there which can go back to children and and stuff like that and so whatever's going on um uh, maybe you're dealing with your ex or you're fixing to be an ex or something whatever that is some some something's just unpredictable out here around something all right uh, the sun is shining on this. Well, the sun right now is uh, in Capricorn, and their motto is, I use. And if you're going to use something in all uprightness, because that energy is like real hardworking stuff, very rewarding stuff if you put the work in, that's what Capricorn represents. Uh, they also hold the devil card, because it's just like devilish stuff could be there around some, there's hatred out here, okay? Um, 
but if the sun is also shining on this, that's also government. We have the emperor representing empires, government, things like that. We do have a king out here uh, watching something foolish that would be sitting up in their position that should have integrity to put some type of a judgment on something to open or shut a door. Uh, because he represents the door. We're getting a picture of this gate here in the two of wands. Uh, in this decision that will open or shut a door and only the most high really can do that. Okay um, If somebody's gonna do the right thing and somebody else is a fool or, or and they got hatred in their heart They don't like a decision that um, upright people are making and they're gonna be crazy and they're unpredictable then, you know, I guess the Most High is you know, not going to let us know exactly what's going to take place with some unpredictable factor of the, of the situation day going on. But the sun also is a forcible overthrow for something positive. Whether the fool shows their rear end or not, because the, the rear end actually, the word is out here. It's out here. Okay, so whatever this is, um, something's going to be positive regardless. The next card says El Roi, which is the Elohim who sees me. And Elohim sees this situation. The King of Kings is watching this fool. He sees, he sees the situation. He sees what's happened. He sees why the hatred has been put here. He sees why somebody's been playing a stupid freaking game. Uh, he sees. He sees us, people. He sees us. There's a shift and a jolt here as well. Uh, an accounting technician is involved in something here, or you work. Uh, that's what you do. We got boss figure energy out here as well, whatever that is. Um, something around uh, somebody's home where they lodge is here, okay? Oh, somebody's door is here, okay? Somebody's weighing some alternatives. Okay, well, somebody, again, if somebody thinks they're going to come in and do something or say, hey, go out with me, I have the um, phonics of a date here. Or they did that, now there's hating and something shifted and jolted. I could, rest, I, I could read it that way. Now there's hating around some stupid stuff. Um, whatever's going on or if somebody's trying to secretly come and do something there is somebody's got hidden intentions out here people around something there's boundaries on the next card okay something around somebody's storage building okay whatever that means and security and organizations coming out here as well on that card whatever's going on the most High seen something folks you need to know that the most High will protect his own all day long the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is the Emperor. It's the Great I Am card for me. Okay, uh, whatever this is, whatever this is, you better watch yourself if you're a fool and you think you're returning to do some crap. The unpredictable factor is going to be upon you. Okay, the Most High has got a complete success out here for His people, and uh, we already know who's leaving the earth, and that's the fools. Okay. The people that are unpredictable doing some cray-cray, we don't want you. Um, you go ahead and do whatever you feel like you got to do because you can't get out of the vomit. Because that's what you like. You like to eat the, the, the rear end of the vomit. Okay, it's out here. You're, you're nothing but a, a, a rear. Okay, and so you go ahead. That just tells us who you are. It gives us the go-ahead to get rid of all of Jehovah's enemies, however it needs to happen. So you just go right on ahead. We're watching you. The people the most high are watching. Okay, we got security order organizations around somebody who don't have boundaries. Okay, and, and somebody needs to, to put boundaries up. Okay, somebody is weighing the alternatives out here around something. Okay, anyway, the letter H is here. The letter G is here. We have um, a hog is here. Now, if these are your... <laughs> if these are your... Um, uh, you know, if you got both of these in, in your name, then you do. If you're upright, you're upright. But, you know, there, there is something going on that's filthy out here, people. Okay? Even, a, you know, a pig will return to get into the, the nastiness, people. Somebody's here with that fool. A fool is a fool. Okay? They're going to come eat the vomit. They can't help it. People, they can't help it. It's in them to do some nasty, it's they're, they're, you know, a hog, a pig, they're created to go and just wallow around in the mess. They can't help it. 
Okay, anyway, if that's going to end, somebody going to go put the freak in the pen, then they need to go to jail and be bent and, and some crap out here. Because there's a security organization watching something out here around somebody. It's time for the fool to go away. It's time for actually some of these people to die. Anyway, um, we have the J. We have the M. Okay, somebody's name could be Jim. Somebody could jog is out here. Ham. <laughs> and a hog is out here. We got you know a real, real derogatory word for a police department uh, energy. You know they're supposed to be watching people like that. So whatever that is, Hammond uh, um, is somebody in the scripture that I spoke about the other day. That the most I said they would hang themselves. Okay, even if it's just energetically, if it's physical, then maybe somebody is hanging themselves. Um, let the most I take care of whatever it needs to, uh, causing some fool to do whatever that they need to freaking do because they won't get out of their hatred or whatever the crap. They won't be changed. They won't become a new creation in the most high. Uh, only Christ can save them. Whatever that is, this, this can take us back to... Uh, uh, hanging type of energy. Somebody's got demons out here though. Because pigs can trace us back to demons. And the M can take us back to the C. And so I could pull that out here with this energy. Whatever's taking place. Something's, something's taking place. The letter K is at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is the justice card. Okay. Some type of, um, um, you know, somebody's name is Jack and Jim and... The geek energy is here, so we got people on, you know, t you know, technology and stuff like that, messing around, doing some stuff as well. Somebody's name is Kim. Somebody's name is Mike. Um, something about hacking energy. Somebody hacking in on uh, te technology. Somebody could be trying to come back around to ask somebody to do some stuff or they're only there to try to hack into somebody's stuff on their business or they did that or, or that's what they do. Something like that is out here with, with some stuff. But anyway, you guys got uh, security and organization around some stuff at the most high is saying that he is watching something out here. I'm going to take three more cards and call it a reading. Yehovah, what's the most important thing that you want to reveal about this message here? There, so it does, we do have uh, something out here about so, social media. So we do have the geek energy that is showing up with the G and the K for the phonics. You don't have to work for geeks. It's just bringing this out. IT working energy. Okay. Show me three cards or whatever you see fit to come out. Jehovah, the most important thing that we need to know that's hidden that you want to bring to the surface. So there is a sweetheart energy that is coming out. Now this card in this deck represents anybody special okay so if this emperor is in the upright and that queen of pentacles uh, are in the upright and somebody's watching somebody and protecting and there's security and organization around something or something's around a business being protected because there's some fool around some energy whatever that is the sweetheart card is anybody special to you that is a feminine it could just be a friend it could be a relative it could be your sweetheart okay that you find attractive or your wife or somebody that you want to date and they are uh, precious to you uh, I will also read this uh, a different way as well and somebody's trying to you know come up in here and they got a mask on to be a sweetheart then something's out here with that but they're really hoggish and they're really a fool and something like that okay so whatever that is so we got the sweetheart it is a feminine energy that's either being attacked or is trying to do something okay we have the dog coming out okay well this is also about protection it's also good news folks somebody is loved out here we have that card you are loved somebody else got hatred that's been out here as well around that so for some people there's third party crap <clears throat> around some stuff and that's why somebody's being watched okay the dog card is um a friend it is good news it's a yes if you had a question about something it's also same sex crap out here okay that's that's vomit okay the fool can trace you back to a vomit and so can uh same sex and things with the bestiality and scripture says that it, you know you, you you do something with a freaking animal then then you will be vomited out of the land somebody needs to be hacked and vomited out of the land maybe they you know whatever that is that's gross somebody's also doing with somebody very controlling out here because the dog can take us back to jezebel control issues 
Uh, it's amazing because yesterday when I did those readings, I was really feeling some heavy energy. It was real hard on me. The Messiah allows me to feel some stuff, and it just boils me sometimes. I'm just like, it's hard on me. Um, I got done with some of those uh, readings that I turned turned my scripture and it went right to this portion of scripture where Jezebel was getting eaten by the dogs and her carcass uh, would be like dung in the earth is what the scripture says that the dog is here to lick up Jezebel's blood folks whoever the controlling whoever's been trying to control their husband with that queen of pentacles in the negative and that little fox that's had hidden intentions. And there is property that is attached to Jezebel. Okay. And there is seducing energies that can trace us back to Jezebel and sacrifices and crap like that. Somebody's in for it. They're in for it. They really, really are in for it. Something positive will come out of this because Jezebel's going to go, go away. Because there's a complete success out here. The most has going to make sure somebody gets some, some type of a success. One more, please. You hold that in the bottom of the deck. What do you want to bring out? <clears throat> somebody got protection around them. Because that emperor would protect something. Um, we've got the generosity. Okay, somebody's... This also could, you know, go back to like a bribe type of energy. Somebody thinks that they Look, I'm cute. I'm going to try to put a seducing spell on you. And uh, I'm, I got a little gift for you, baby. Uh, then you need to be careful. Okay. Um, somebody may have their poker face on, though. Take you into a room and hack you up for the crap. Because we're getting rid of the profane, man. Uh, if somebody has done something with somebody's gift and somebody's been undercover to try to figure out some stuff then something's out here with that as well this is about being generous though yeah look at all the money at the bottom of the deck man uh it shows i guess you can't some of y'all can't see but anyway it um it, it shows a bunch of money on the table it's inside of the cabinet there's a bunch of money and then this uh, gift card shows all kinds of jewelry all over the table and says so something's of value out here what's at the top of the deck getting up and taking a risk that's a, that's the emperor energy getting up and taking a risk and it's gonna pay off for somebody in the upright because there's a complete success out here that's that's incredible well it's positive so whoever the hateful stupid people that want to be controlling and continue to, to wear masks and do some crap somebody getting judged out here something's just over their little people game is over the most i say and he gets the last say until next time folks shalom